Hey, what's going on? Adam the Tutor here, coming at you with another Laplace transform problem. This time, we're doing a little bit different of a function, but, you know, hey, it'll, it's, it'll, it'll actually turn out that's pretty easy. Now, so basically, first things first, what we need to do is we, well, well what I want to do is I want to write down an alternate definition for Kosh of a t. And basically, that's going to be equal to one half, and then we're going to have e to the a t plus e to the minus a t, right? And then, of course, we also have our definition for our Laplace transform, which is the following. And the integral. Uh, kind of a funky looking integral sign there. Integral of f of t times e to the minus st dt. Alright, so now that we've gotten that out of the way, basically it's just a plug and chug at this point, right? So let me come over here. We're going to have the Laplace transform of hyperbolic cosine. is going to be equal to the integral from 0 to infinity and we're going to have a 1 half we're going to get an e there's going to be a minus s so it's going to be e to the a minus s times t plus e to the minus a plus s, right, because we have a minus a and a minus s, right, so then we can factor out the minus sign, and then dt. So basically what we'll get is we'll have this guy, we'll have an a minus s, and then we'll still have our top portion, which is the exponential, and then actually this will be a minus sign, right? Because that minus is going to come down, or is going to come up from the numerator, or denominator rather. Right? Once we integrate this with respect to t, and we'll have a plus s, and then we have this, and then of course we have our limits, t is equal to zero, to t goes off to infinity. So basically we're gonna have the requirement that s is greater than a in this case, right? So basically what happens now is we just evaluate our limits. Well since we have this guy our first limit you know as t approaches infinity of both of these is just gonna be zero. So then what we're gonna have is we're gonna have we're going to have minus, minus this, minus one half, and then both of our exponentials are just going to go to one, right, because t is equal to zero. And then we're going to have one over a minus s minus one over a plus s, right? And basically, we're just going to combine the denominators and we're going to get, let's see, we're going to get one half. We're going to get an a plus s minus a plus s. And then over, see, we're going to have an a squared minus s a plus s a minus s squared. So we're going to have an a squared minus s squared. And that looks like it's going to give me Looks like we're gonna let's see here. Uh, I think I think I made a mistake because I don't think there should be that minus sign there. Let me check. Minus minus that's minus a plus s. Mm, no, I think that's good. Oh, okay, that's right because we can just pull it down. Okay, no, we're good. So then we're gonna get well. So a and minus a are going to cancel. We're going to get a 2s, which is going to cancel with that 1 half. So we're going to get an s. And then 
and we're going to bring that minus sign down into, into the denominator, and we're going to get an s squared minus a squared. So there you have it, the Laplace transform of hyperbolic cosine. is going to be s over s squared oh well not not plus that's a that's the Laplace transform of cosine just regular old cosine but this one has a minus right so it's kinda interesting the only difference between the two is that there's this minus sign here so that is our answer oh. Okay, well, that's going to do it for this video. If you have any questions, comments, or any, you know, maybe you'd like to see me do another problem or something like that, just drop it in the comment section below, and I will do my best to get to that. And, as always, thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.